This week on Katie Met Chris. I guess this is what they mean by high rent district. We have yacht and I love the Pelicans and, and they're the here beach. For our next market tour, I'm gonna go to Meridian Market, one of my favorite local markets. And food. She gave us a ton of food. And life on South Beach. Girl twerking in a Mustang. It's nonstop. So check your parachute, grab your crash helmet, and let's get started. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? I guess this is what they mean by high rent district. Ah, yes, we can dream. <laughs> we got a pretty good life going on. Yeah. And I don't feel like taking Dramamine every single day for about two months till my body gets used to it. Yeah, that's why we're not buying one of those yachts. Yeah, that's, that's why. <laughs> this beach is a lot of fun. The people watching uh, is top notch. I like because they have some animals along the beach, the birds and lots of dogs. So it's a fun beach and we get to see the cruise ships and the, what are those? Uh, cargo ships. Cargo ships. So it's a very entertaining beach. The sand's really nice. It depends on where you are, how deep the water is. Sometimes it's up to your ankles, and sometimes it's all the way up to my armpits. <laughs> if we just filmed our time on the beach, it'd be wonderful, but that'd be a whole month of us just walking out here, because we come out pretty much every day, walk, do our exercises, hang out in the water. And if we weren't on the beach, we would have missed Jake Paul sending Conor McGregor a little fight challenge valentine. What are you thinking about Miami Beach as a whole, the town? I really like it, and of course, me, my impression is always, oh, it's so busy and there's so many people and blah, blah, blah. Which but, it is. Yeah. But if you go back about three streets, four streets, there's some beautiful neighborhoods with big trees and parks. That's what I'm really surprised by. Yeah, Meridian Street. Yeah, that's really my favorite beautiful. street so far. We're looking for a house on Meridian. <laughs> Pelicans, and they're here. So that's cool. That was our very first ship we ever went on, Navigator of the Sea. I so miss Royal. Do miss cruising. So Chris and I had a bet. He bet that these were the Portuguese Man of War's babies, and I said no, they weren't. I won. They're actually have a long name, but the short name is a sail uh, jellyfish. <laughs> They're actually really pretty. The bottom, they said they'll sting you, but... So you beat me on a sea life question. I did. Dang. I gotta up my game. <laughs> oh, look, sail. Kite surfers. Well, not every night can be chicken and rice. A little ribeye and gluten-free mac and cheese. For our next market tour, we're gonna go to Meridian Market, one of my favorite local markets. bonus we're gonna get lunch too the bag of food weighs like five pounds and it was 15 bucks now we get to go home and eat this see how it tastes she gave us a ton of food. I mean, how much food we got there? 
these are $7.50 a piece. Wow. And she really liked Christy. Okay, so I got. Call me Papito. <laughs> I think she calls everybody Papito though, so I won't let it go in my head. So I got the yellow rice. I got something that starts with a B. And Chris, what is the name of it? Boliche. Boliche. According to Wikipedia, boliche is a Cuban pot roast dish consisting of a round beef roast stuffed with ham, browned in olive oil, simmered in water with onions until the meat is soft, and then quartered potatoes added. Mmm. Tender. That's good. And I got black beans. Ooh. They put a lot of seasoning on that. So there's... That's good. With that, we also got plantains. Mmm. Yeah, I oh, had a really good plantains. And I've been craving pot roast. This is perfect. So what Chris got was chicken fricassee with uh, rice with black beans. Oh, now that's the way to go. The black beans and rice, oh, they're really good. Okay, let's try the chicken. Okay, that's a bone. Okay, that's a bone. <laughs> There's so much in this, it's just going everywhere. Oh, it's moist, it's tender. That chicken's good. We're gonna go back and try this again. They have a lot to choose from. Now we're gonna eat. I found another treasure. A seagull dropped it at my feet. But for some reason, Chris won't shake my hand. He calls it creepy. <laughs> and you didn't like Scarface, why? <laughs> Aww, but Chucky. <laughs> You're a special kind of girl, Kate. I'm just gonna go over here. <laughs> On most days, parked in front of our apartment here is the GDP of Belize in cars. Just the view from our balcony. Just an average night on our balcony. All night, every night quite entertaining. Lamborghini, Rolls Royce SUV, girl twerking in a Mustang. It's non-stop. Well, I woke up this morning feeling like empanadas. And I remember seeing one down by Meridian Market. So let's go see if they're any good. these great little tables outside. I got one ham and cheese and one meat. So let's see what's this one. And I got a cafe cubano, Cuban coffee. Oh, that's good. This is made with ham and cheese and the outside is a really light, fluffy pastry. Really good. Mm. Wash that down with a little cafe cubano. Tell me what you think about that. That is a pound of sugar with a little coffee. Ow. The music was too loud. We had to move over here. So this one's beef, but the outside on this one is made of corn. Hmm. The beef is spicy. It's ground. And, but it, I, I like the outside of the other one better. The other one's flaky. Yeah, why not? I like the music. Kind of sounds a little bit like Shakira, but I am totally wrong on that. And we got a crow. He's marinating me. He's <laughs> marinating you. I hope not. Uh -huh. I hope he's just serenading. Well, in my brain, I said serenading. So, you know, we'll see what it actually said. He's marinating me, he's marinating me. He's marinating me. I like these little local places with amazing food. And they're so eclectic. This is decadent. Thank you. Mm. 
tastes like Swiss cheese mm -hmm. with cut up ham. Both of these and the coffee was $7. I'll give you one guess where we're going now. It rhymes with the beach. Cool mid-engine Corvette. That is a beautiful automobile. I saw this on Bewitched. Ta-da! Oh, there's a haze. People here are very industrialists. Look at the size of these holes. People get on the beach? It's our last day on the beach and I'm really disappointed. <laughs> We've had it a wonderful time here. Not ready to leave at all. No. This is definitely top on our list of places that we'll stay if we ever decide to stay. Yeah. We even looked at started looking at houses. So that says something. <laughs> and we found a couple. Yeah, we really like. We're not quite ready to put it down unless, you know, we don't get to travel anymore. <laughs> Depends on what happens in the coming months and all the stuff that's beyond our control. If we're able to start traveling a bit more freely internationally, then we'll continue doing that until we can't anymore. Failing that, we'll be back here shortly. And now I've got to go cool off. Jeep, this will be fun. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. But it has been telling us to turn on one way streets <laughs> repeatedly. It's Monkey Mind Mark. That's it. We're driving around checking places and I made a little map of Florida. Oh, and there's a pedestrian lapping us. We're on Manatee Public Beach. <laughs> now it's dumping rain. Today we are in Sarasota. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>